before it is a video on how to make your own DIY summer party there are going to be DIY summer treats some beverages and of course DIY decor so if you want to know how to make your own DIY summer party that is easy and fun for you and your friends then just keep watching the first thing that I did to set up my summer party was to put out a really nice clean white tablecloth and I actually picked this up at the dollar store so it was only a dollar and I thought that was an amazing steal. Most of the supplies that I found were from the dollar store and Target and stores like that. If you want to see how to make this really cool DIY tassel garland that I used for my party for some DIY decor, I will leave a link to the separate video down in the description box so you can check that out as well. The first thing that I did was set up a popcorn bar and this little piece right here is actually dual purpose. It is a chalkboard and a whiteboard. So I just decorated it with whatever I wanted and set out some bowls for my treats and my popcorn. You can really put in whatever you wanted but I put in white chocolate chips, some regular dark chocolate chips, some Reese's, some fishies and yeah that was it. They came out really delicious and my friends really enjoyed them so just feel free to add any kind of candies you like and whatever your heart desires and I'm sure your friends will like them as well. For the final and last step I set out some Cracker Jacks along with some containers for my friends to put in their popcorn and their topping. I thought it was a really great touch and they really seemed to love it. I also set out these really cute plastic bowls which I also picked up for only a dollar each and set out some cotton candy. What I suggest is waiting until your guests start to arrive until you put this out because it started to absorb the moisture in the air and became very hard and candy like but it was still pretty delicious while it lasted and it added some really bright pops of color to my party and my decor. have a party full of all sweets and junk food so I made this meat and cheese platter and I just had turkey ham provolone and Swiss and I think it came out really great I also added in a little bit of chicken on there as well and my friends seemed to really enjoy that it was a really good option besides all of the sweets that I had at my party this next DIY treat was definitely the hit of the party and it is a s'more dip casserole. It's delicious so pretty much it's self-explanatory. You just take a bunch of chocolate, I use chocolate chips as well as dark chocolate Hershey bar and you just crumble it up as small as you can in the bottom of a casserole or you can also use a cast iron skillet. And then I added Reese's in mine which gave it so much more flavor and it was so delicious so you just want to put the Reese's around the pan or the skillet whichever you're using and it doesn't have to be perfect you can put them in one corner if some people don't want Reese's or if they just prefer not to have theirs too sweet and then you just want to put your marshmallows on top and this makes for a really easy and simple treat and you just want to put this in the oven until the marshmallows start to brown now because this is so yummy, I totally forgot to film the after and I'm so sorry, but it did come out really delicious and my friends loved it. And I also set out a little plate with some graham crackers so that they could dip them in. And yeah, instead of chips and dips, we had s'mores and graham crackers. It was great. This next one guys was super easy, but we used way too much sugar. So I suggest maybe using a little less. So it is strawberry lemonade and you just want to cut up some lemons and strawberries 
used about five lemons and probably about two handfuls of strawberries. Boil some sugar and hot water and then just combine them. We got this really pretty mason jar pitcher from Marshalls and yeah, I just really love it. I love how it came out and we kept it in our fridge until our guests arrived. And of course, add in some ice to keep it cool. So this is my tablescape and I think it came out really cute and so fun and summer inspired. If you guys love this video, make sure to subscribe and give it a huge thumbs up and leave your requests and comments down below. I love reading them and I love the feedback. You guys are amazing and you inspire me every single day. I hope you are having a wonderful summer so far and I will see you in my next video.